We are at the point of risking our life living in the city. สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Coach Kon Mara Akom. I'm a landscape architect from Bangkok, Thailand. The Chu Lo Long Kon Centenary Park. That was my first public park, and I feel so proud of this project. For Chu Lo, we actually just incline the whole park. It's so simple that we call it gravity. And we're actually using the whole park to collect every drop of rain. When we change into Thomas s a t University project, we are using the same concept of gravity because it's the cheapest technology that we can find on Earth. But for Thomas s a t University rooftop, we're actually using the rise terraces to slow down the runoff to really help to grow food. My inspiration of my design and being a landscape architect is nature, and I think there is so much to learn. It's not only just the form and then the color and its beauty, but it is also its function. How can we mimic those kind of function to really be part of how we create our city? Bangkok is in ranking of one of the most at risk city of climate change. And I just feel that we are fighting with water in many directions: the rain, the water from the north, the water from the ocean, the sea level rise. I think we're gonna sink, but we're gonna live with water again. We used to live with water, right? So this flooded canal community—they actually been most affected community during the Great Flood. In 2011, Lat Pao Canal is one of the main canal that put all the runoff from the inner city of Bangkok into j a p u y a River. I think they have probably have to be in the flood water for like two to three months, the minimum during that time. Even the seasonal rain get their community to flood. So the governments have this. Policy to widening the canal so the flood water can flow through quickly, and they have more capacity to actually contain more water. Yep. But that's mean the displacement of all the community. In the future, this will be dams and pave. And that area would be canal. k u n t a h a t สวัสดีค่ะ Oh, ใช่ They just moved in like two weeks ago. I really disagree with the dam structure that's going to pave all the canal in Bangkok. I think it's such a um, bad solution that going to create more problems for us for the future of this city. But so much we can do. We cannot change the national policy. Right now, what we try to do is to help the community negotiate with the government to be displaced and then return back to their neighborhood. And for the La Pao Canal community, we actually succeed on doing that. <laughs> you saw that compound, the new. Before they live like this. So I um, graduated from Thailand. At that time, I just feel like I want to become a great landscape architect. That's my dream. So I push myself to get a job in the good firms. Push myself to go into Harvard. And when I get things done, my checklist dreams. And I just feel like I'm still feel so empty. I'm lucky to. Confront with the Great Flood in 2011, and it really questioning myself: What can you do as a landscape architect? Being resilient is not about being in one stage. It's like you dance with nature. The floods used to be the source of food, the source of fertilization. The changing of the way we live as a city in this past 30 or 50 years. 
you completely turn our back to this natural change and call it disaster. We're working in something so doable, but I think we have to have more people advocate for this and create Bangkok the way we love, not Bangkok the way it is.